preseason game, non-conference game, do you feel you're ready to start the CCHA? Yeah, I mean, we're th this team's going to be different. Like last year, we started, I think, a little bit more experience, and especially starting in the back end right away, knowing what you had uh, with Cal and and a couple of the leaders. So th this year's team, it's it's funny right now because we're. We're at a certain level, and then we're not, and we're at a certain level. It's a little bit of a roller coaster, but I, I think we'll we'll be a way different looking team than uh, from Christmas on uh, compared to what we're at right now. And I think a lot of that has to do with our guys just kind of looking around and wh who's doing what in terms of leadership, taking charge, coming off the bench. Um, so it's been interesting, that's for sure. Say, so is, is it kind of fun to see them growing, or would you rather be at that point where it's all you know? The you're after Christmas since they figured some things out. No, I mean, I, I think it's better to go. I, I use. I mean, I talk to my dad all the time, and he's always saying it. You know, hey, it's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. North Dakota has always done a good job, and you're always. And Dave Haxtell is a very good friend of mine, so we're always bouncing a lot of the different things off each other. But uh, they always have a slow build and obviously have an outstanding program. So uh, you, know, you don't want to be peaking right now, and uh, certainly we don't want to have everything just running perfectly uh, the, right now as we want to continue adding things, continue building. Um, certainly the, the two road trips are very difficult, difficult spots to get to, diff, difficult travel, uh, and uh, then coming back was hard. It's been hard too. It's been really tough on the bodies. How much are you spending coaching and as opposed to teaching guys that maybe not know certain things? We are, uh, I mean, it's funny, today we talked about it. We, we really slowed it down today and, and tried to teach more and, and even get RJ's opinion and get his voice going. Um, more so than what we've done in the past. In, in the past, it was more about us building our culture. I think our culture is there. Uh, now we've just got young kids that are uh, getting into our culture. Um, but now we really need to teach a little bit more. The, the unfortunate part that we have is we're, once we get the ice rink and we come back, it makes it difficult. We just don't have enough time. Yeah. You're happy with the way um, defensively giving up us uh, uh, six goals in three games. So that's two a game. Is it feel like that's starting to kind of round into form? Yeah, I mean, defensively, we're doing we're doing some pretty good things. I mean, obviously, there's going to be breakdowns in every game, and uh, you try to make fewer than the other team. But uh, our goaltenders have played well. Um, our guys in front of them have played better and better each game. Uh, so that's a positive. Now we got to find a way to generate offense, and and that's always a with a young team a, a tough thing to start building on. And uh, certainly you see with our power play and everything, we're we're continuing to tweak it and continue to build it. The start of the CCHA, the final CCHA season. Have you talked to the guys about that? Do they know you know the, the legacy of the league and, and what this means? Um, we've talked a little bit about it, but not not much. We talked in our opening meeting a little bit more than we have. It's just very matter of fact for us right now. Let's get into league play, taking game by game, and uh, and go from there. I, I mean, I, I think it's hard for our guys and how young they are if they're going to be worried about what the legacy of the CCHA is all about. I mean, they're just trying to figure out what Ohio State's all about right now. So starting conference play, does the focus change? I mean, do you know these games are now you're going to get points in the standings. Does that just put a little bit extra in it for you? Um, yeah. I mean, the first two weeks were good, you know, non-conference. But this week, I mean, it, nothing really changes. We still have to battle the same amount. I mean, we're looking to scratch points here and there however we can. I mean, Bowling Green's going to be good. We know that. And uh, we need to get ahead early. What's been the point of emphasis this week, both positive and negative, going into this weekend? Um, no negatives. Positive. We're just looking ahead for, from last weekend. Um, we're looking to battle hard. I mean, we know Bowling Green is going to try and grind it out, and we're trying to do the same thing. I mean, we're just going to we're just going to battle hard the whole weekend. What about playing Bowling Green? This is the last time you'll play them in a CCHA, um, and going into final CCHA season. Right. Is there anything that you guys you know, find any extra motivation there? Uh, I mean, no. We want to leave them with our best, obviously. I mean, we're not going to be playing them once we go to Big Ten, but I mean, we want to give them our best effort, obviously. Get the get all the points we can this weekend. Any revenge at all for the series up there last year or back in January? Excuse any, me? Any revenge uh, trying to get back at them for last I year? I mean, before? yeah, you're always looking to, you know, come back on teams. And, like, we always talk about, you know, going into a weekend, you know, these guys took points from us last time. We're going to look to take the points from them this time. So. Have you, uh, from the first four games, learned about this team that you know, it can take care, take forward into Bowling Green? Um, just through practice as well. I mean, it's like Alex said, we're a fast team. It's uh, definitely noticeable from last year. That we get up and down the ice, and uh, I feel like if we uh, skate the way we can, I mean anything's possible for our team. We should be able to win every night. We got a good team out there, and uh, if everybody buys into the role, we should be set. 
been tough to score goals this year, obviously, but you feel it's going to be by committee, or do you think some guys are going to step up? Um, I think scoring is always by committee. Um, it's going to be a total team effort on both ends. I mean, it's going to start whether it's in the defensive zone making plays and going all the way down and scoring or what the deal is, but that's kind of the thing about scoring is everybody needs to pitch in. So we're looking for that this year. You're looking forward to the time when that speed kind of comes out on the goals, I mean, when you can maybe win some foot races and get some odd man opportunities, things like that? Yeah, I mean, we saw flashes last weekend in Quinnipiac. Some guys are just out racing their defense into pucks. We're getting great opportunities. So I feel like we just keep doing that, moving our feet. The chances are going to keep coming.